we're going to remove the uh, e-clip. Okay, then we're going to loosen the axle nut. Okay, before you start adjusting drive uh, belt tension, you're going to have to get one of these uh, tension tools. Um, what this does, is it has a set marking here. It's 10 pounds. The Harleys are adjusted 10 pounds uh, per, per 10 foot pounds. And you can either use this uh, rubber O-ring down here, and when you push up to where it, the yellow ring touches the O-ring, that's 10 pounds, or you can slide it up and push until it hits the 10 pound mark. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna push the belt up. This sit, the belt sits into this point, or part of the tool. And you're gonna you're gonna use the top O-ring on a position on the bike, uh, a frame position or something uh, stationary, so that when you push it up, you can mark three eighths inch to five or five sixteenths to three eighths inches, which is what the deflection should be on this soft tail with the rear tire off the ground. Uh, so I've got a stationary point I'm going to show you where we're going to start pushing at, and when I push up and it reaches ten pounds, this mark should be at the at the starting point of where the um, o-ring was now you also have to remember that uh, there's 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 two measurements that you're going to that you can use here one is going to be with the bike off the ground with where the wheels not touching which is what we have right now or it's going to be with the with the tire on the ground that deflection is going to be different so you, you're going to need your service manual to be able to do this so i'm under the bike here and you're going to position this is as close to halfway between the drive pulleys as you can. I'm going to use the top of this cross member right here to as my, my, my gauge point. So as you can see, if I put it on there, I push up just a little bit until I start getting a little bit of tension. My black O-ring is right at the top of that cross member. And then I'm going to push up until my O-ring reaches the 10 pound mark. At that point, when I'm holding it there, my drawn line, which is 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths inch, should end up at the top of this cross member where this O-ring initially started. So we're going to do that. So you take it, push up, there's 10 pounds, and my mark is exactly where the O-ring was. So my dr drive belt tension is exactly the way it's supposed to be at this point. If you have to make an adjustment to it, which we actually already adjusted it because we had taken the tire off and had a new new tire put on the rim, um, you'll end up you'll loosen your axle nut, and you'll use your um, axle adjustment screw here to move the axle back to tighten it, or you'll move it this way to loosen it to get more deflection. Now, after you do that and you get the deflection, you're going to want this axle pretty straight, so you're going to need one of these axle alignment tools. Okay, so the way we're going to use this is you're going to you're going to take your your 90 degree end, which is an inch 1.75 inches. The reason they did that is it kind of makes it straight all the way to the back. You're going to put the uh, the uh, you're going to put it in the center of the pivot bolt. You're going to pull it up, and then you're going to use your marker. And I'm going to use that little edge, and you're going to mark the mark to the center of the axle. Now, once you get your 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 mark at the center of the axle, this slides too, by the way, and it's kind of kind of stays on there uh, taunt. Once you mark the center of the axle, you're going to go to the other side, and then you're going to use your um, axle nut adjustment bolts to align the axle so that the other side of the axle is in the center when the uh, axle alignment tool is in the pivot bolt. Okay, so I got it, I've got it in the center of the pivot bolt, and it's pretty close. I've got to back it, back it off a little bit. Actually, i got to turn it so that it uh, moves backwards. So that's, that's going to be a tightening motion. And remeasure until it's centered. So that wheel, it's centered at this point. After you get it adjusted, you're also going to want to look at your belt from the back. And you're going to want to turn your wheel. And as you look down this belt, you're going to want to make sure that that belt is straight. Just a visual. It should be if you use your axle alignment tool to align your axle. Okay, so you just turn the wheel. Your spacing should be the same on both sides, and you should see no bend as it comes off of the, uh, the sprocket. Or if you go down low, you should see no bend or curvature as it enters onto the sprocket. Now, this belt also does not have to be exactly centered where you've got the same space on both sides. Um, it's it, it's going to be even 
and aligned to your, your, your front pulley when you use the uh, axle alignment tool and it's gonna fall where it naturally will, will lay. Some bikes it might lay on the inside, some bikes may up that line on the outside. The whole thing is to make sure the belt is straight as it comes onto the sprocket and back off. Okay, so once you get your, uh, your belt deflection uh, correct and you get your axle aligned, which puts your wheel in alignment with the bikes, with the, with the bike, you're gonna wanna tighten your axle nut. Okay, now we're gonna tighten the axle. Refer to your service manual on the foot pounds for tightening this. The uh, Softail Deluxe 2013 is 95 to 105 foot pounds. You may have to put a wrench on the other side to hold it, which I do. Okay, so I've got a big, I've got a crescent wrench on the other side. We're gonna tighten this to 95 to 105 foot pounds. There we go. You're gonna put your E-clip or your retainer clip back on 